I am in the biggest little city in the world for the Reno Coin Show. Stacking Cat. Welcome to the Stacking Cat channel, where I talk all things silver with a little bit of gold. If you want to see more of this type of content, then please subscribe and push that notification bell. If you enjoy this video, then hit that like button. Hey there everyone, I hope you guys are all having a great day. So I did make it here to the Reno Ramada, which is hosting the uh, coin show this year. Should be a relatively large show. Now it was canceled last year for obvious reasons that I do not want to get into, but I'm gonna go inside and hope that they have what I'm looking for. I do have two objectives. Uh, first off, I wanna find some of those type two American Silver Eagles as well as maybe a quarter ounce uh, type two American gold eagle. And the second objective is I'm going to be doing a giveaway uh, coming up here pretty soon. I'm really close to 5,000 subscribers, a little over 4,600 right now. So we'll be doing a giveaway for that. This is not the announcement video, just letting you guys know that'll be coming up in a couple weeks, but I do want to find some uh, you know cool, unique silver items here to give away. And it will be multiple winners, so hopefully this coin show is going to be worth it. So uh, let's get in there. Okay, so I am back from the Reno coin show. I was not able to record inside, sorry about that. I talked to the gentleman who was running the show, and he mentioned that a few dealers were concerned about privacy issues and those types of things. Um, he said if I wanted to record with any of the uh, dealers to ask their permission first, but I didn't want to get into any type of controversy, so I decided not to do it. Didn't want to ruffle any feathers, but it was the Reno Coin Show at the Ramada. I know you guys like to watch the videos from inside the show, but in this particular instance, it just was not meant to be. So I'm just gonna show you what I bought. Also, uh, after I show you all the different coins, uh, if you wanna hang around till the end of the video, I did what I guess you would call a vlog of just uh, downtown Reno, some, some sites like the Riverwalk and the National Bowling Center and all that. So if you wanna stay tuned for that, of course you don't have to if you just wanna see some coins. And it's going to begin with a British Sovereign. So you guys can see right here, it is a 1966 in immaculate shape. I mean, the detail is still really good. Has a cartwheel going on. Now this is a newer, or I guess it's not necessarily a newer one, but uh, a 1966. So it is the queen in her early portrait. As you guys could see there, take it away from the camera a little bit. But yeah, these uh, 66 gold sovereigns, uh, really nice to stack. We're talking 0 0.2354 ounces of gold. Uh, he did sell it to me, the dealer, at a great price at only a 1.5% premium. And so I believe after converting the price to the weight of gold, it was like $434, sold it to me for $440. So thank you for that. It's a dealer that I uh, go through quite often when I'm at these shows. I've seen it, him at all of them. Also, another good reason to go to shows, you become a lot more familiar with the different people selling stuff. So always uh, good opportunities to buy when that is the case. And we talked golf for a while. Good guy. He also sold me, of course, the classic prospector. I am always on the lookout for these. I'm close to a tube, actually. I'm at 17 right now. It takes 20 to fill, just like the American Silver Eagles. And like the Eagles, there is a Type 2 reverse. So some of them have the E logo. And as you can see right here, this is not the case. It's the Eagle on the flag. But I picked up four of these. Always try to find them in as good of condition as possible. Uh, he had quite a few to choose from. He was nice enough to let me go through his uh, role that he had. And so all the same, just the prospectors, different dates though. Here's an 85. What do we have here? We have an, another 84. 
And last but not least, are you going to focus? 85. So 284s and an 85, just always great to get in on the prospectors as they are not always available. So certain times you just have to hope you could find them. A lot of times your local coin shop will not have them. A lot of it will be based really on turnover. People are coming back to sell them and the online dealers charge a lot for them. So at coin shows, I'm always looking out for the prospectors. Uh, I also picked up a numismatic piece. And this is the California International Expo. Or let me make sure I got that right. The California Pacific International Expo, which was held in San Diego between 1935 and 1936. So this is the uh, 1936 edition, the Denver they also made this coin in 35 out of San Francisco. Apparently, neither sold too well, so they had a lot that they melted down, unfortunately, but I like to buy these regional commemoratives that came out there in the mid-30s. Uh, my sister lives in San Diego. As a matter of fact, I was just there last week, or two weeks ago, for her wedding, so congratulations, little sis, on that. So I try to get the regional ones where, I, where I'm from. So I got this one. And I also have the Bay Bridge uh, commemorative with the Golden Bear on the front. And so just a brief description of the coin. This is Minerva, the goddess of wisdom and strategic warfare. Kind of a strange combination. We also have a bear there on the side behind her. And the Sierra Madres is what she is standing on. And then we have in Balboa Park, which is still there, actually, is the California Tower. A lot of these expos are always building towers, like the Space Needle, for example, up in Seattle has is part of a World Expo or a World Fair. And this also features the Chapel of St. Francis. So in pretty good condition, there's a good look at it right there. Better look than I had before. Let's see if I can do that with this side as well. Yeah, there you go. So you can see everything. So yeah, just fun to own these. It's in the old style annex uh, slab there. A little bit different than the NCS or the PCGS. It's a lot smaller. And actually, I prefer it. It's kind of nice to have this smaller slab. The big ones are a little too hokey when you're dealing with smaller coins. Now I'm going to get into what I picked up for the giveaway. I know I mentioned there in the beginning that I was going to be doing a giveaway. It'll probably be in the next week or two. Yeah, I haven't decided exactly when, but I wanted to get some silver, some different types of silver instead of just your standard items, generics or eagles. And so at the coin show, I was able to pick up some pretty cool items. Here is a old stagecoach art bar. So you guys can see pretty nice looking. And as a matter of fact, it is a, if we can get it to focus, a Silvertown. So an old one ounce Silvertown bar. Of course, a lot of us know about Silvertown, the current iteration. I don't know if this one came out in the 70s or 80s. Maybe if somebody knows, they could put it down in the comments. But I got it for a good price. Actually from the same guy who sold me the Gold Sovereign and the Engelhards. And so one other item that I was able to pick up, these are really cool, just some uh, one ounce poured silver bars. You guys could see Nevada, the silver state. I got one upside down. Let's switch that. There we go. So yeah, I just bought these. It went in accordance from where I was at. I was in Reno, so I thought it was a good idea. I bought it from a guy who's a coin shop owner in Carson City. It's only about a half an hour away from Reno. He was there selling these. He has no info on who actually poured them, but you can see different pour lines. They're pretty cool. Then on the reverse, just like a classic backside of a bar after it's been poured. So I did buy two of these, though. I will be giving one away. I had to buy one for myself. I thought they were just pretty cool. And I don't have a lot of uh, poured silver in my stack, so I thought it was uh, nice to get some of that. So yeah, the show overall went really well. The uh, Reno Coin Show, uh, they put it on every summer. Uh, it was put on by the same guy who does a lot of the different shows in Northern California. 
And so, you know, I was able to go out there and check it out. And once again, I do want to apologize for not being able to record inside the show. Like I said, I know you guys like to see that kind of stuff, but I want to keep a good image around these guys. You know, I go to a lot of their shows every year when possible. So I want to maintain a good reputation in that regard. Like I said, don't want to ruffle anybody's feathers. These guys are out there trying to earn a living and I'm not trying to dox them or do anything like that. So that's how that went. And uh, let's get into the Reno vlog. If you guys want to hang around and just check it out, it's a few minutes and we'll get to that right now. So it looks like I've turned this into a bit of a vlog. Uh, you know, I wasn't able to record in the show. I probably could have, but I didn't want to, you know, ruffle any feathers. So now I'm just walking around downtown Reno looking for something to eat. Pretty hot out here. Here's a bar and grill. Not much happening, though, in this. Uh, there it is. Not much happening downtown, though, so I don't know. We will check in later. I just found a pizza joint, so I'm going to have a pie and a pilsner. Looks pretty good. And here's the patio view from Campo, which is the Italian restaurant that I'm having this pizza at. It is part of the River Walk here in Reno. Uh, as you can see, it surrounds what is the Truckee River, which is super low right now. I believe it's like six feet lower than it should be. So, I don't know. This is the National Bowling Center. Of course, home to Big Earn McCracken and many lesser bowlers. <laughs> okay then, I think this will uh, wrap things up. And if you'd like to see similar videos about silver with a little bit of gold, then please subscribe and push that notification bell. Smash that like button and leave a comment. And until next time, this is the Stacking Cat.